I am a truck driver in the oil field. It's been a rough, what, year and a half? Lost a vehicle, <laughs> lost a house. So right now my house, there is no walls in one of my rooms because we were remodeling halfway through the oil field went to shit. So now we're in a half constructed house. In a town like this, everybody suffers. You know, you, you would think it's only a problem for the people that work in the oil field when it declines, but it's not. Thanks to the hardworking citizens like you, the United States of America is now the number one energy superpower anywhere in the world. So congratulations. And you always say this, next time the oil fill comes back up, we're gonna save. But then it goes up, and that's the last thing you do. They don't know. When it's good, it's good. Hey. Hello. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? What are you up to? Nothing, just got off work. Ate some food, just sitting around being lazy. How are you? Good. Busy? I was, but not anymore. So how long have you lived in Denver City? All my life. 35 years. I was like 10, 11. It quickly got boring as hell, around, <laughs> around 14, 15. How would you, um, how would you describe Denver City to someone who's never been there before? Just a small town, very supportive small town. There's one grocery store. There's one, two, three, four, maybe like 10 churches, 11 churches. School yeah, is just like, one. Like there's a one for each. What about gas station? There's five. And restaurants? We, we lost some because of COVID. So we have, we have about eight. I had just turned 21, and I was a bartender at, like, one of the scummiest bars in Hobbs. <laughs> there was a guy in there that worked for Halliburton, and we started talking, and he's like, yeah, bro, he's like, I can get you in. It's basically like the army, like, like literally, there's recruiters, and they, like, they, they promise you the world, and you can go wherever you want and see whatever you want, and you're going to make $120,000 a year. All you gotta do is sign them dotted line, <laughs> you know? Me and Shaylee had just barely moved in together, like had our first little house. And she was like, I'm ready to like get married and have babies and like buy our own house and plan a future, like start a family. And I was like, yeah, awesome. I said, but it's not gonna happen working at a, as a bartender, <laughs> you know, like this was some scummy shithole that, you know, people were like counting their quarters to get a beer. They weren't gonna drop you 20 bucks tip, you know? So I just went and put in an application and the guy called and I just kind of went for it. On the record low price of oil, for oil you've been is, seeing is nothing. Uh, at a level have that's turned negative. The most news on Wall Street today, oil prices plunged below the zero. That is the lowest day of the year. Get over here, man. Throw off the muscles. No. Let's see uh, him. Yeah. Try Alex, your cousin Alex, your mom. Go like that. Sure. Give it to Alex, look at that. Oh, man. I think it went down, because it always goes down on the election year. 
And that was scary when it went below zero. I remember growing up, my friends would move away. And be like, this is a the year they're gonna move again every four years. And it, it just always happens. It just happens that we got the virus too. Like at school, I'm kind of known as the girl that tumbles, the girl that flips. Politics comes up a lot between me and my friend group. Yeah. I don't like talking about politics with my friends because like they get like angry and one of them gets really judgmental. I'm just like, girl, chill, we're 15, girl. Like, if I support Trump and I talk about it, I'm like, I don't support him as the person he is, but like as a president, because he's our president and he supports the oil industry. And my friends are like, you support a racist and a rapist president? All these things why I shouldn't, and I'm just kind of like, I feel really attacked sometimes. I got out in November, and by February it was, it was done. Do you think you'll go back to the oil field, or are you like happy you think? I'm happy being away from it. My back doesn't hurt, my, just everything, general health. No more oil field. How many years did he work in the oil field? Like 14. That's a while. Yeah, I don't know, I just, just a lot of wasted time if you ask me. I mean. Being out there in a damn truck all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it probably feels that way now, but you know. You were providing. Yeah. Yo me cansé. no se mamón. So how does it feel now? Right now you're comfortable. Like we're both making money, decent money. Do you feel stuck in Denver City? No, because it's it's different now. Like you know what I mean? Like. Like, like this weekend, I have three damn shows. <laughs> I'm not at, at the beck and call of some oil field tycoon asshole. <laughs> How would it feel leaving Denver City? It would be sad, but I've learned that people leave, and if they're you know, friends, then they keep up. But I, I, everyone left us. You left me. Your mom left, your grandma left. You know, my friend Jasmine moved. Denver City's only for a short while. Part of life. I will let you go. Hopefully you got you got enough of my blabbering to keep you busy. <laughs> Love you too, tell Sam hi. Love you and I'll talk I'll to you soon, you. okay? Love you too. Okay. Bye Tudi. Alright. Bye. Bye.